Hello everyone. So in this tutorial, I'm going to talk about some basic package management in Arch Linux and other Arch-based distributions. So this can you can say a continuation of our Arch Linux series. Um, this video will basically help you out to, uh, in installing packages and yeah, just uh, using your system effectively. Okay. So to start this, um, I want you to open a terminal. By just typing, uh, by, by just pressing the Windows key and the Enter key or the Return key, this will open a terminal. Um, in the last, uh, in the last video, uh, if if you are following the last videos, uh, this call, this uh, key binding should be running. If you have another Linux distribution, uh, you can do it um, uh, dependent on the distribution. Okay, so yeah, open a terminal. And then, uh, first of all, basics. Uh, as you can see, I have my notes open here so that uh, I don't forget the comments. So, basics are for opening the man page of Batman. If you don't know what man is, um, man is an interface to the system reference module. Basically, you know, um, a manual. Yes. A manual, okay? So, a manual for different applications. So, what you can do is if you just type man and then Batman. And then hit enter. You can see the uh, the name, the uh, how to use it, the description, and what what does it do. A lot of things. So if you want to go go in more detail with this, you can always just open the uh, man manual for for Batman. Okay. So yeah. Next up, what what everyone needs is how to install packages. So to install packages, you can just type sudo pacman dash capital S and then the name of the package. Let's say in this case, I download let's say gvim. Is it installed? Oh, stop it. Okay, let's do something else. sudo pacman dash s uh, what should I do? Okay, sl. Okay, sl is a, is just a package. Okay. So this error is just for me because I have some, you know, some things going on with my uh, Pac-Man because my system is quite old. That's why. So as you can see, it is looking for conflicted packages, and then it will, uh, then it will show the package and then the what, how much it will download and how much it will install. So if you enter here, it will download it. And it will install it. Now, if you run SL, as you can see, SL was just a uh, program to run an ASCII file around your terminal. Okay. So, yeah, to install packages, you can just type sudo pacman dash capital S, then your name of the package. Okay. Let's say if you want to update the system, you can just type sudo pacman dash capital S U to just you to just upgrade not update okay so just upgrade upgrading and updating has a lot of differences because updating resyncs the repositories from which the packages come and upgrading just checks if a package is outdated and then uh, changes it with the newer package okay so i recommend whenever you uh, you know update or upgrade your system run both of them at the same time so you can just type to the pacman dash capital s y u which means sync the repositories and also check the outdated packages and in, and replace them with the new ones. Okay. Now, uh, if you hit enter, as you can see, it is syncing. I have a lot of different custom repositories. We will not have these. We will only have, I think, core extra community. That's it, I think. So yeah. Um, after this is done, I'll just control. Uh, I'll just cancel this. Um, it will show. It will show an interface where you can. Uh, see what what it will do what packages it will upgrade and then if you hit enter by default it will choose the yes option and then it will start uh, downloading the updated latest packages and replacing them with the previous ones okay so yeah next step is for searching the packages searching packages uh, can be very useful if you want to know the specific package name or um, you know a keyword uh, and you are sure that there is some and there is something with that keyword in the package description or in that name so that can be pretty useful i'm sure i'll show you how to do it there are two types of searches if you do pacman dash capital ss 
this means it is searching the internet to see uh, you know to check for available packages if they are there or not in the internet okay if you type pacman dash qs so qs this will check for the packages which are installed on your system so it will search the packages which are installed on your system and then it will return the matched cases so for example if i uh, do the uh, searching packages one and let's let's do emacs okay if you enter as you can see it will uh, it will spit out all the all the entries which has emacs in the title or in the description okay so yeah that can be pretty useful if you want to search a specific package then um we can also do qs by default dmax is not installed on the system but i have installed it so yeah if you hit enter now as you can see it will show me uh, that uh, emax is installed on the local system and it will also give us the description of it okay yeah next step removing packages removing packages can be very useful because if you know how to install packages you should also know how to remove packages so for packages you can just type sudo remember to add sudo sudo uh, sudo is basically a uh, super user do uh, i i don't know why the man does not have it here basically super user do so su super user and do matlab uh, meaning that um, you can use the super user for a specific uh, for some time but you have to give your password i have configured it so that uh, it will not ask for password but by default it would ask for your password okay so yeah to run this you can just type sudo pacman and then dash r if you just run r it will not remove its dependencies it will only remove the specific package now what do i mean by that um let's see um do i have something with a lot of dependencies okay uh i'll just um uh, Okay, Pandoc. Okay, Pandoc is a um, you 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 need not know what Pandoc is for just now. For now, we'll just do this. If you hit enter, um, as you can see, it is saying removing Pandoc's break breaks dependencies. Pandoc required by Python py Pandoc. This is just a dependency cycle. So if there are no cycles here, um, it will just say to remove Pandoc. Okay, if you hit enter, it will remove it. but i recommend not doing that if you just add an s at the beginning or the end of the flags um uh, it will also it's not working here i will check it why it's not working it will also remove the dependencies of the specific package you want to remove the dependencies are the packages which are needed to run the packages which are needed to run the package you are explicitly installing so um it makes no sense to um, keep the dependencies but removing the packet itself for which you want the dependencies so you can do you can do this to remove the dependencies as well or you can also add an n here s n r which will um, remove all the uh, config files from the root directory not from the home directory from the root directory and and also remove this the uh, dependencies so s is for the dependencies n is for the uh config files and r is for obviously remove okay yeah so yeah i couldn't show the example because uh, there is something going on with the dependencies i'll i'll say those next package listing if you want to list all the packages the, that are currently installed on your system just type pacman dash q without you can also use super user but um you know it's obvious because you are not changing something with the system you are just listing it so you don't need super user super user is basically the admin if you are if you are coming from a windows uh windows side of uh, view uh it's basically the admin of the user which can do whatever you whatever they want want from the pc okay so if you are changing something like installing packages or removing packages from the system then you need sudo if you don't you can just remove sudo and run it So if you type pacman dash capital Q, it will list all the packages installed on the system. Okay, uh, yeah. So uh, that's that's a good one. Now, if you want to check all the packages that are explicitly installed by you, meaning that you are you are not intending to intending to uh, download the packages, but it is required to run some other packages like just a dependency. 
So if you run Pacman dash Q and then E, Q E, this will give us all the packages that you have specifically downloaded. Okay. So as you can see, um, I downloaded SL just now for the video, and there's a lot more which I have downloaded. It's a very bloated system as you can see. Okay. So yeah. Next, if you want to see the packages which are downloaded from the main repositories, if you don't know, Arch Linux has two types of repositories. I'll just show you. Uh, if you go to aur.archlinux.org, you'll be able to see that this is the Arch user repository. This, you can say, is the user submitted uh, packages. Okay, so. The main reason Arch Linux is used is uh, most of the time for the Arch Linux user repository. So probably you know what this is, but if you don't, this is basically the packages which is which are, which are submitted by the users. Okay, so it it can add a lot of different supports, or it can uh, it can recite the packages which are still not being added to the in the official repositories. Okay, and the next one is obviously the main repository, which. Which uh, has the packages which Arch Linux officially supports. Okay, so yeah, if you want to check the packages which are installed from the uh, main uh, repositories, you can just type pacman dash q and then n. As you can see, these are installed from the main repository. This means that all of these are supported by Arch Linux officially. Okay, um, now if you run qm. This will list only the packages which are installed from the AUR. As you can see, these are the packages which are installed from the AUR. Nice. Okay. So, um, I'll clear this. Now, if you want to list the orphan packages, what do you mean by orphan packages? The, uh, you know, if you run minus R without these flags while, while removing the packages, there will be some. Um, there will be some uh, dependencies which are not needed, or some packages which are not needed, which uh, which is just orphans. They are not required for any other package to use. So at that time, uh, that time it will be very easy to just list them and then delete them. Okay. So uh, another uh, example where orphan packages can be uh, made is, you know, when you are building something from the EUR. There can be some build dependencies which are only needed to build the program but not to run the program. So those dependencies can also come at the orphan packages. Okay? And there are a lot more others. Uh, there are a lot more others. You will figure it out when you start using it. Okay. So if you just type pacman dash qdt, these are the things which are not required for in, in this computer now. So uh, yeah, so if I want, I can remove this. Okay, so yeah, I'm not going to do it now. Next, um, it it could be very useful if you if you could select from a menu and then install it. Well, basically, you can just give a keyword or um, or a number of keywords, and then if you if you hit enter, it would give you a menu, and then from there you could you could choose what package you want to install on the system. Okay, this could be this this is. Uh, mostly possible using uh, package managers like Paru and Ye. Those are AUR package managers. So, I'll show you. So, uh, you know, Paru Archinux. This is a feature packed AUR helper. There is also Ye. Ye is also an AUR helper which is written in Go and Paru is written in Rust. Okay. So, yeah. If you want to use those to interactively interactively download uh, packages from the uh, main repositories or the AUR repositories, you can just run the command ye. I don't have ye installed. I have paru, paru, and then space, and then the the keyword. Okay. So um, let's say I want to install uh, uh, Minecraft. Okay. Whatever. As you can see, it will give us a lot of um, things which is related to Minecraft. It will also say that um, what are orphaned, what are outdated, and a lot of other things. Okay, so yeah, so it's a very long list of packages. You can just uh, click one or hit the number which is 
Just hit uh, one number and then it's ready to go. Okay. Nice. So, um, yeah, the main, um, for customizing Pacman, there is a config file which exists in slash etc slash pacman.conf. Okay. So, to edit it, the best way to edit it is using sudo edit. So, if you just type editor equal and then the name of the editor you want. So, if you are a beginner, I recommend using a graphical editor like gedit. If you don't have it, you can just download it. You can install gedit, mousepad, and k. There is a yeah. There is a lot of other uh, genie. Yes, there there are a lot of other graphical editors. Um, yeah. So if you are comfortable using a terminal editor, I recommend just using nvim or nano, whatever. Okay. The editor is equal to nvim. This this is basically setting the environment variable nvim so that um. Okay, I will just uh, complete the command and then I will explain. So the command is sudo edit, oh, sudo edit single word and slash xc. Okay, so the command is editor is equal to nvim. So anything with capital letters is known as an environment variable. Environment variable are the variables which, um, which uh, uh, you know, it's like a setting which you can change. So I I want to use the editor nvim as the editor in which sudo edit sudo edit opens that one dot com. If you are wondering what sudo edit does, it basically edits a file with super user privileges. So it's like super user do edit. So it is saying the super user to edit slash etc slash pacman dot com because this um uh because this path is not um uh, uh, writable by the current user in which we are. Running, okay, so yeah, if you hit enter, as you can see, it opens this. This this will look different because I have a lot of configuration in Envy. So yeah, uh, if you go down here, uh, there will be a lot of in the miscellaneous options. Um, by default, it will be like uh, this. Okay, I most of the time remove this, this, this. Um, this and also this okay so i do these this what it will do is uh, add color to the pacman uh, to the pacman output check space is before installing a package it will check the space if there is space in the system then only it will start installing the package verbose pkg list is that it will give us a more uh, in depth information about each packages which are going which are going to be updated or installed or removed okay uh, i love candy just adds a little bit of candy basically um if you will pacman uh, for in, let's say installing or removing a package the progress bar will have hashes at the end if you uh, if you add i love candy at your pacman.com it will change it uh, it it will change itself into a pacman which slowly eats something like a candy okay parallel downloads this is a new pacman 6.0 feature which will enable us to download um, multiple packages at the same time so this this will uh, change the number of packages you want to download at the same time okay so i recommend doing these i'll just remove check space for now because i didn't have those yeah so you can play around with these you can also check the man page etc right yeah um next um, what we can do is change ch changing to the near nearest mirror list what is a mirror list mirror list is the url where the repositories are currently located in so you um so there is a uh, again there is a file in pacman.d slash mirror list if you open this um as you can see i have already i have already uh, done this using tool called reflector so this will uh, this will just be you know it will only have the uh, country and then the uh, servers through which it will download packages if the first one fails it will download with the second one if this one fails it will download this this and so on okay so um if you, you need to um, go down to your country and then 
add those packages at the start of the fight so that you will get the fastest internet connection because the server is nearest to you okay yeah then you can also solve them like um uh like then you can uh, use the countries near you the the uh, servers which uh, which resides in the countries near you you can add those after your country etc etc okay you can also add the worldwide mirrors there will be a worldwide mirror section at the top you can add those as well okay so yeah this is recommended if you are you know it is this is very recommended rather there are no ifs there. okay yeah then uh, the last one is yeah removing cash and unneeded stuff there uh, there will be a lot of situations where uh, pacman can uh, have a lot of cash so what is cash basically let's say you are updating a system let's say you have a um, let's say you have an older version of pacman okay let's say pacman this can be this is equi- uh, this is uh, uh, the same for any other packages but so let's say you have a old version of pacman and then a new version of pacman has been released and the system has updated it to the new version the system does not delete the file the um the previous version of pacman instead it stores it at at cache this can be useful if you want to just remove the uh, tar.gz file and you don't want to install it etc so if you want to remove those you can just type sudo pacman dash s c hit enter it will say do you want to remove all of the packages from cache just hit enter this will by default remove it because the y is capital here okay i am getting a lot of errors because you know i have to um, again hit enter and it will remove one thing because it is okay as you can see i have stopped uh, at a as you can see there are parts here this means that i have stopped in between of a update because i had some issues i think that's why okay so um so yeah uh that's it i think yeah so this will be the it if you want to get in more depth you can also check the archinux user repositories uh, sorry pacman's guide in the archinux docs and yeah i think that's it for me and yeah i'll catch you in the next video